what are we known for? Or what would we like to be known for? Perhaps you'd like to be known as an eminent musician, or a teacher, or an evangelist. Perhaps you just want to be known as a good person. For instance, Marcus Rashford, though a footballer by profession, has become known as a free school meals campaigner just in the last few months. Today's Bible reading is 1 Thessalonians chapter 1. Paul's writing to the Thessalonians, whose church he established. In the first few verses, Paul remembers them for three things. The first is their faithful work. Faith's always active, never just about sitting around merely believing, but about doing. People see it in us when we seek God and serve others. What kind of things is our faith energising us to do? Let's seek to reignite that exciting fire of faith within us. The second thing Paul remembers about them is their loving deeds. What is our love for God and others leading us to do? Have we assisted in charitable work? When out and about, do we show love to our neighbours? And if not, could we strive to do so in the future? The third thing is unwavering hope. A lot of us would have found such hope difficult this year, with a new plague ravaging worldwide. But as Christians, we're a people of hope. Our hope is in knowing Jesus and through the promises we find in God's word. One of these lovely poetic promises from Isaiah is, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. Verse four says we are loved by God and chosen by him. I think there's no greater thing to be known for than our faithful work, loving deeds, and unrelenting hope. Is this what our churches are known for in our communities, particularly this year through the pandemic? As we journey through Advent to Christmas, let's aim to keep these things in our mind. If we neglected our faith, love and hope during this pandemic, let's regain them in the lead up to Christmas. If I may, a short prayer. Dear God, please help us to carry out faithful work, loving deeds, and to have unwavering hope in your promises and in your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen.